If you are a teacher or school administrator in Contra Costa County and you are interested in dramatically improving the learning experience for students, families, and the school itself, you need to meet Brenda Stutzman. Brenda is a teacher in the San Ramon area and she is the National History Day coordinator in Contra Costa County. But my involvement in NHD has allowed me to become in love with teaching again. It's intellectually stimulating. It has brightened my desire to be the one who opens the doors alongside my students for being productive citizens. In a nutshell, the NHD program fits perfectly with Common Core state standards for literacy and history, social studies, science, and the technical subjects. And it serves as a framework for teachers to integrate into curriculum. You're not adding something to your curriculum. I'm finding that this is giving me a structure to do what I need to do. And it gives my students a sense of belonging to something big. With the NHD website, everything is in the right place, under one hood, and developed to an inspiring depth for teachers and students. The intentional selection of the theme each year allows students to push past the antiquated view of history as mere facts and dates and drill down into historical content to develop perspective and understanding. This year, it was conflict and compromise. Now, there are five types of projects that can be created around the theme. It can be a documentary, an exhibit, a paper, a performance, or a website. All of these project types are thoroughly covered on the NHD website with examples, guidelines, and instructions. National History Day is for students in the 6th to 12th grades. However, in California, unlike most other states, 4th and 5th graders can enter with a 2D poster project. Let's see what NHD looked like in Contra Costa County this last season. The theme was announced around June, so that when school started in the fall, NHD and participating schools were ready to go. Through mid-September, students explore the theme. And by the end of September, students chose their topics within the theme and research began. October, November, and December are typically dedicated to research and the construction of their presentation. St. Mary's College hosted research sessions in their library for elementary school students, with St. Mary's students and faculty serving as guides and mentors. During January, students finalized their projects and presentations. And then in late January or early February, many schools had a whole school celebration where all of the projects were put on display and the students presented their work for critique and judging. The strongest projects were selected to move on to the county competition. For those selected with guidance, projects were refined for the next level of competition. The county competition was held in early March, and for the first time, St. Mary's College sponsored the county competition. Again, the strongest projects were selected to move on to the state competition. The state competition was held in early May in the Sacramento area. The national competition is held in June in Maryland. Very few schools in Contra Costa take advantage of NHD, but those schools that do participate have high numbers of students involved. For newcomers to NHD in Contra Costa County, right now is like getting in on the ground floor. The county is covering the NHD fees for schools to participate because they have seen the value of this educational opportunity. So if you are a teacher or administrator in Contra Costa County and want to explore what NHD can do for you, your school, and most importantly, your students, we urge you to contact the National History Day coordinator as soon as possible. The place to get started is contact me through our website and leave me a message and then I'll get in touch with you. And this really awakens new passions for kids. Parents watch that process and recognize that's maturing in their child.